guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a makeup look for you using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm a bit late to the game so I only got this a few months ago instead of getting it like when it was first out and everybody was like hyped about it and everything. Oh my gosh. When I first got this palette I was like so excited. I couldn't wait and then it arrived and I was just like yes. Then I started using the colours on my eyes, which in the palette, I think they look so beautiful. So beautiful. But then I started using them on myself and I was just like, I don't think these colours suit me. And it was mainly like the mustardy colours and the browns and everything that I was using, which like in the palette, they look so good. But then when I put them on me, I was like, I'm not convinced. So I stopped using this palette and stopped kind of doing my eyeshadow altogether. I just kind of became like unmotivated and bummed and then I don't know what happened but one day I was just like I really like these colors on me I really like them just to be clear I never dislike the colors I just dislike them on me but now I like them on me <laughs> so that being said I'm going to do a makeup look today using colors in this palette for my base I'm gonna go in with this color here I don't know what one it's called ah gosh I got them all over me Oh gosh, that was nearly the palette on the floor. Instead, it's on my arm. Can you see that? <laughs> so I'm gonna apply this all over my base. I've already primed my eyelids before I came on camera. You know when I do that it always takes a second for my eye to focus because I'm wearing contact lenses and it just moves the contact lens like about in my eye and then I just, like open my eyes and my contact lenses are like whoa what's going on and actually I shouldn't have done that because that's made me dizzy. Okay, so now that I've put this colour all over the base, I'm going to go in with my next colour, which I'm really excited about using. And that's going to be this mustard yellow colour. Love it. Love mustard yellow. And I'm going to put that on my eye. Do you know what's weird? I actually hate mustard. I do. I actually hate the taste of mustard. And I'm like a, a mustard homing pigeon because I can tell if something has mustard in it. Like those macaroni and cheese ones I was eating and I love macaroni and cheese. And I was eating it and I was just like, someone's put mustard in this. I could just taste it. And then I went to Starbucks and I bought a cheese and ham sandwich and I was like so excited to eat it. And then I bit into it and I was like, oh my gosh, they've put mustard in this. So I'm going to start off putting that on my lid here. Just kind of warm my lid up with this mustard tone. The brush that I'm using right now is a Morphe R39. Just in case you were interested in knowing. So now I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush because I wanna put some color like right on the edges here and I don't want it to like be too overpowering because I don't have, I don't feel like I have a lot of lid space. So I don't want to put like a big brush with color on here because then it's gonna go too far up towards my eyebrow. So I like to like swap to a smaller brush. So I'm going in with the Morphe M514. It's, I don't know if you can see it. It's slightly, it's slightly more like precision. That's really bad grammar. Slightly more precise, I think is what I was trying to say. So the color that I'm gonna go in with now is this shade here. And I'm just gonna start putting that like right on the outside there. And I just like bounce it off the outside here just to build the colour up. Put it like right on the edge and just bounce it off to build up the colour. And I'm just going to do the same to the other side. I feel like I always get different results like each side. 
but I think it's because the side is droopier since the surgery. I mean, to like anybody looking at me, you're not gonna notice it's droopy, but to me, because I know what it was like doing my makeup before or doing my eyeshadow before, and I know what it's like doing my eyeshadow now, like I can tell, I can tell that it droops down more. But just to like anybody watching or like looking at me, you're not really gonna notice that. That's just something I'm going to notice. So that was the colour that I used on my like lid all over um, like to start with. Now I'm going to go in with this colour here, the one next to it. And I'm just going to like blend this colour and this colour together. And get rid of any like harsh line that might be there. feel like I want to darken up this outer V a bit more so this time I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques shading brush it's just even more it's even more precision why why can't I say this it's just like even better for precision and I'm going to go in with this shade down here I'm just going to do what I did before which was bounce it off of the corner here do the same this side so pigmented then I'm just gonna take this into my crease here just and deepen it up so I really like where this is going but I feel like I've lost some of that nice yellow warmth so I'm just going to go back in with the mustard yellow again and I'm keeping the Morphe M535 brush and then going back in with that mustard colour and I'm just going to swipe it over like my lids here, just concentrate it here. I just want to add in that warmth that I had earlier. Okay so the next thing that I want to do is start using the shimmers. I'm gonna go in with this shade right on the end here because I just think it's so gorgeous. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm not using a brush to apply that, I'm just using my fingers because I feel like you get the best result using your fingers with the shimmers. So I'm gonna put some on my finger and I'm just gonna swipe that on my lid. Oh my gosh, this is so creamy. I love the texture of the shimmer, it's amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this colour here, it's a darker gold colour and I'm going to put that towards the outer ends of my eyes. Again, I'm just using my fingers because I really think that the shimmers go on better with your finger. Now I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M535 and I'm just going to join the two shimmers together. Okay, so off camera, I have neatened up this part here that was like really bugging me. Basically how I did that was I took some foundation and I put it on a beauty blender and I just went along here and tidied it up. So now that I've neatened that up, I'm on to the next part of my eye look. I bought these glitter eyeliners. This one is from collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner and it's in this lovely gold colour and what I like to do is oh, zoom you in again I like to put that on my lid here just a thin line and it adds like just a little bit of sparkle It like gives you that little bit of something something without being over the top. You can make this line as thin or as 
thick as you want. Some days I just make it like a really, really thin line. But tonight I want to go a little bit thicker with it. Next, I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner Pen. And I'm going to do the ends here. Now because I have the gel eyeliner on the inner lid, I'm not going to take this all the way into the inner lid. I'm just kind of doing the outer part of my eye. Now I want to take my eyeliner and just put it under my lower lash line here. The trick with eyeliner is to be confident. Eyeliner smells fear. The minute you think that it's going to mess up, it's gonna mess up so you need to like approach it with like so much confidence like this is gonna go so well so my camera is a bit of a I don't know if MDLs has a G7X Mark II and I don't know if you've noticed the same thing but I feel that when it comes to filming video the battery life is just so poor I have had that battery on charge all day it was fully charged and before I'm even to do an entire makeup look it cuts out and I didn't realize that it cut out halfway through explaining what I've been doing. So I think where I left off with you guys, I just started to do my eyeliner at the top. No, I'd done my eyeliner at the top. I was just starting to do it at the bottom. And then I was um, like sorting that out. And then the battery died. So I continued without realizing that the battery had died to um, neaten up the under part here because I think when I left you it was a bit jagged so I neatened it up and then what I did was I went in to the Jaclyn Hill palette again and I took this dark colour and I used the Real Techniques brush here and I went over where I had put the liner just to kind of add a bit more substance to it and make it look less harsh and then I went over this part here the same way with the same eyeshadow and the same brush and so this is how it looks right now and I'm going to zoom you in so you can get a closer look and so now that I've zoomed myself in you can see just how I have neatened this up under here compared to how it was before the battery died you can also see that the glitter gel liner here has dried and you can see that it's is there and it's sparkly it's not like too in your face but you know there's a bit of something there so to continue what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten up my under eye here my under eye under my brow this arch part under my brow I'm just going to brighten it up so um, to do that I'm going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take uh, this light colour here I'm going to put it all over one of my brushes so I'm going to take this fluffy brush here it's not a Morphe brush, it's not a brand name brush I don't even know where I got this one from but it's the one that I have to hand so I'm going to put that colour on the brush and then I'm just going to swipe it under my arch here just to brighten up that area and as you can see i've actually put some on my eyebrows so i'm gonna have to fix that <sighs> me and my eyebrows honestly Now I want to go for some inner corner highlight, so I'm going to go back to this palette. I'm going to choose this really light one here. I'm going to put it on a pencil brush and I'm just going to put it in the inner part here. So now that I have done that, that just leaves mascara. 
So I'm going to do that next. The mascara that I like to use is Volume A Million Lashes by L'Oreal. It's not focusing. And I like it in the extra black. So now that I've put the mascara on, I'm going to zoom you back out again. Okay, so now that I'm zoomed out, I'm going to go and do my blush. So the blush that I like to use is, I don't actually know who makes this blush. It's got a B on it. I don't know if you can see that. And it's in the colour, I don't know. Oh, it's in the colour Roses Are Red. So <laughs> I'm just going to put some of that on my cheeks. Because my hair is darker, I feel like I need to like over exaggerate with the blush compared to how I used to when my hair was blonde. Like I definitely didn't need quite as deep or as concentrated amount of blush when my hair was blonde. But I feel like the dark hair just really needs the colours more vibrant and to pop. I don't know if you can hear that, that is actually my cat ripping at the carpet outside. He stopped now so that's good. Then I'm going to take this brush that I got from Superdrug, it's also by that same brand, um, that B brand, it's a bronzing brush. I love this, the bristles are like so soft and I feel like they really blend everything together so well. All I'm going to do is just bounce that off my cheek in circular motions where I put the blush. And I feel like it just blends everything really well and just brings it all together perfectly. Love how that looks. Okay, so now all that's left is to do my lipstick. Now I feel like with this really gold nice look, you can do a nude lip and it's going to look amazing. Especially with this pink top on, it's going to look good. But I want to go a little bit extra and I want to do a nice red. Especially with Christmas coming up and being around the corner, I just, I'm feeling red vibes. So I'm going to take my red lip liner and I don't know who makes this. Surprise, surprise. I don't think it's like a brand name, it's just a generic one. I might have actually got it from Primark maybe. And it's in red, I'm gonna line my lips. So red. Next, I'm going to go in with my all-time favourite liquid lipstick. It's made by Gerard Cosmetics and I'm pretty sure it's called Mercury Rising. Yes, yes it is. I just love this red so much. It's like an orangey red. I actually wore this lipstick on my wedding day. So it actually has like nice memories linked to it. So there we have it, that is the lipstick added on. Now I could leave the look like this and it would be fine, but I wanna go a little bit more extra and I'm gonna add on some highlight. I'm gonna go in with this Lancome highlight glow for it kit that i got from sephora in poland um and i'm going to mm, i don't know because i like all the colors like a lot you know what i'm just gonna mash it up i'm just gonna like take all of them i 
just swipe that really nicely over here. Do the same this side. This is just adding like a nice shimmer sheen. See, off camera, it doesn't look that obvious and in your face, but I am noticing in the viewfinder. I don't know if it's going to portray the same on the computer screen, but on the viewfinder, it's looking like really bright. But then in real life, it's not. I'm going to put a little bit down the bridge of my nose here. And here we have the final finish completed look and I love it. I feel very glam. I hope you guys liked it too. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, hit the subscribe button, stick around. Yeah, it'll be fun. So until next time, stay safe and have a good time. Bye guys.